paradise here and all of the different things that you can do, whether or not it's bike ride, ski, hike, um, trail run, those kinds of things. Building the infrastructure for those activities definitely brings additional dollars in from outside our community as people explore our trail system and explore our community. Through our comp planning process, we've been able to institutionalize a lot of these ideals, and then we work with our partners in the community to start to bring those to fruition. So Salida is a bicycle-friendly community. The city applied for that designation a few years ago, and we were awarded it. And we are one of only nine rural communities across the country that have a designation uh, sober level or higher. And we're continuing to work to get more, uh, more city streets marked with the share roads and more safe routes to schools um, so we can make sure that we have those pathways within our community to support kids and youth and folks that want to ride their bikes. Uh, the safe routes to school plan really kind of helped establish those core routes, those access points, and uh, so we've really come up with a new sidewalk plan to go in and replace um, the sidewalks that need to be replaced, grind down the edges of the ones that are, you know, off by just a little bit, and put in the ramps at all the corners. The Slider School Gardens Project is a partnership between Livewell Chevy County, Guidestone, Colorado, the Slider School District, and a number of other entities in the community. The primary goal of the project is to get produce into the school meal program, as well as kids out into the farm and, and get their hands dirty and see where their food comes from. One of the added benefits is that some of the produce goes into the hospital meal program and is also sold in the community to restaurants and through a youth farm stand. So we're really excited to see some of the locally grown produce uh, really getting into the community and having community members have access to that food.